it was really in that moment, one of those cliche, um, taking ownership, looking yourself in the mirror and realizing that everything is your fault moments. Um, and for me, that was a, a key pivotal turning point in my life was, you know, realizing that all these things that I had been blaming on others, all these situations that I've been blaming on others, that it was all ultimately my fault. And uh, the encouragement from that was that if I got myself into the situation, I could get myself out of it. It's one of the most beautifully tangible definitions of taking ownership. You mentioned that phrase, taking ownership, because a lot of people talk about it, I talk about it all the time that you have to take ownership, personal responsibility. But in your story, taking ownership didn't just mean, you know, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be because of the things that I've done and you know, now moving forward, your story led you to a place where you had to take ownership. Well, you didn't have to, but you chose to take ownership of all those bad things that you have done. I think for me, a big, a big part of getting through these challenges that are unexpected is not putting the blame on other people and taking full ownership of it yourself. Because as soon as you take the fingers that are pointing outwards and pointing them at yourself, you're basically taking the keys back to the handcuffs that are, that are tying you to whatever it is that's, that's happening in your life. And so taking ownership means you're, you're in control. Yeah. And if there's a challenge, if there's an obstacle, if there's uncertainty, I wanna be in control. Because I tell everybody, like everything that happened, like it's, it's all your fault. You control everything. And I understand there's things that can happen to you, especially things that can happen to you like as a child and different types of abuse type things. Like, no, that's not your fault, but letting it control you 20 years later, 10 years later, five years later, that you control that. That's the thing about pointing the finger at someone else. Excuses. But that's the thing about forgiveness is when you forgive them and you point the finger at yourself and take responsibility of doing that, you literally take all that power back. And it's not like slowly over time, it's immediate. Like the second that you take, that you forgive that person, it's immediately you have that back. You like that is the definition of integrity, is, is taking ownership of all the wrongs and all the rights and saying, it is what it is. In order for me to move forward, I'm gonna have to deal with this however the cards fall. And, and, and then now you're here today with that story to tell, it's, it's, it's absolutely incredible. And I think it does take time, intentional time, to sit back and figure out like, huh, what, what, did, what did I learn from this situation? What could I have done better? I think it's very easy in those scenarios to start pointing the fingers at other people. Like she did this, she did that, they did this, they did that. But taking full ownership of the situation, say what could I have done to make that situation better? And now what can I do to move forward and learn something from this? Because the only way you can see that relationship as a failure or or as a loss as if you didn't learn anything from it that you don't go into the next relationship and i know for a fact i am the husband i am today because of my failed marriage i'm the father i am today because of my failed marriage and so for me and, and i always get pushed back for whatever reason it's always from guys about like the affair like oh dude that wasn't that wasn't your fault that she had an affair i'm like yeah it was if I had been the absolute best husband in the entire world, best environment in our home that you could ever ask for, would it have still happened? Maybe, but probably not. So it was my fault and I took ownership of that.